Guys, it's Boxing Gossip here. Um, I'm coming to you with a prediction for Bellew Maccabi. Uh, I'm recording this on my iPhone because I'm still away on holiday for the next few days. So I'm going to have to keep it fairly brief. Let's just say, on my channel, Tony Bellew and I don't have the best history. Um, he's a fighter I've been critical of several times. I've picked against him in some big fights. I picked Nathan Cleverly to beat him one day for a cruiserweight. I actually picked and bet on Mateus Masternek to beat him most recently. And, you know, it's possibly clear that in the past I have been guilty somewhat of underestimating Tony Bellew. Having said that, for me, Tony Bellew is a fighter who comes up short when he approaches world level. We saw what a world level fighter in Adonis Stevenson did to him in the past. Um, you know, when he's got to that fringe world level, the likes of Cleverly, the likes of Chilemba, the likes even of Masternek, who's a European level fighter. Maybe he's won, but he's won unconvincingly. And for me, the problem with Tony Bellew, uh, apart from, you know, there's several problems with Tony Bellew at a world level, but the main problem is a real lack of defence. Uh, put simply, the guy is unable to block a jab. And what you'll notice in the recent Cleverly and Masternek fights is every time one of those guys was able to use their jab in a round, um, they were able to land on Tony Bellew with relative ease and relative regularity. Now, Makabu is an interesting guy. He's a guy I rate very highly. But one thing I would say is for a cruiserweight, he's very, very short. So for me, the easiest way to beat Tony Bellew is to outbox him from range, simply jab his head off. Uh, and I believe that the majority of the elite level cruiserweights would jab his head off uh, from range. The thing with Makabu is because he's so small in stature and so short, I'm not 100% sure how he's going to do against Tony Bellew from the outside. I mean, Bellew's best bet in this fight is going to be to establish a jab and try and keep the fight out of range. Yeah, Makabu's quite slick. He's a southpaw. Um, for me, he, he's, uh, you know, he's a fair boxer from the outside, don't get me wrong. But he's going to have a disadvantage in size. He's going to have a disadvantage in range. If Makabu can beat Tony Bellew by the jab, despite his large height disadvantage, Bellew really is in trouble. But I think... It could become actually a more interesting fight than I had initially anticipated, largely based on the fact that for me, Tony Bellew's main weakness is going to be from the outside, and I'm not sure Makabu is going to exploit that with his smaller size. Um, regardless, in terms of a prediction, in terms of being put to the question of who I think is going to win, how it's going to happen, um, I simply think that this Makabu, from what I've seen of him, looks pretty quality. To me, he looks like a world level fighter. Some of the form on his record uh, is actually fairly impressive. Um, the guy carries a bit of power. I'm not going to pretend I've sat through his entire back catalogue, but I've seen him fight a few times. I've seen a few clips of him. Um, this is a guy who can mix it up. He's awkward. He's not the most orthodox. Um, he's pretty slippery. And my impression, having watched him, is that this is a guy who potentially is a world-level fighter. Now, there's been a few of these come over to the UK recently. You know, I remember, for example... Terence Crawford fighting Ricky Burns and thinking to myself, is this Terence Crawford all hype? I remember uh, Barroso coming over to fight Anthony Crawler and thinking, oh, this Barroso is going to bulldoze him. You know, you never know what you're going to get when you get a fighter with this kind of relatively unknown profile coming over here. But my viewpoint, having watched this Makabu, is this guy's a Terence Crawford, not a Barroso. And I think... A guy like Tony Bellew, who's a commendable, respectable, likeable fighter, for me, he's a British-European level cruiserweight. His skill set isn't there at the top level. His defence most certainly is not there at the top level. And even though he's got some size advantages over Makabu, I think he's a bit sloppy, Bellew, and I think he'll struggle to use reins and use the jab consistently. Uh, I think Makabu's going to find a hole in his defence, and I actually think Tony Bellew's going to get knocked out in this fight. We've seen Bellew hurt in fights several times before. Uh, I don't think Bellew's fitness and conditioning is there at Cruiserweight. To me, at Cruiserweight, he's carrying a lot of unnecessary size on him. Uh, and I think Makabu's going to find a gap. And I think Makabu will stop him mid to late rounds. I hope I'm wrong. I've been critical on Tony Bellew as a fighter many times on the channel. But he seems like a nice guy. He's certainly a character. And believe me, I'd pick Tony Bellew to win. Um... If I had a choice of who's going to win. But in terms of my prediction. Makabu's smart. He's a sharp boxer. He's going to win the fight by knockout. 
and he can announce himself as one of the best cruiserweights in the world in the future. Let me know your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this, do hit the thumbs up button, do subscribe. Thanks for watching.